In this video, you will learn how to solve problems in stoichiometry. A 10 milliliter sample of saturated solution of calcium hydroxide is titrated with 23.5 ml of 0 0.0156 molar hydrochloric acid. What is the molarity of calcium hydroxide in the saturated solution? And what mass of calcium hydroxide is dissolved in 250 uh, milliliters of saturated calcium hydroxide? Now, before um, solving this problem, we need to write a chemical reaction between um, calcium hydroxide and hydrochloric acid. We need to write a balance, um, balanced chemical equation. So that would be hydrochloric acid and calcium hydroxide. And our products would be um, so calcium would go with chloride. So we have calcium chloride plus water then we need to balance this so we need two moles of hydrochloric acid and then two moles of water all right so let's um answer the first question what is the molarity of calcium hydroxide in the saturated solution so you notice here that we're given um, the volume in milliliters so we need to convert um, that one to liters so this is 23.5 milliliters and then we convert that to a liter So this is just equivalent to 0 0.0235 um, liter of hydrochloric acid. This is 0 0.0235 liter. Okay, now to solve for the molarity of calcium hydroxide. Molarity, the unit for that is mole per liter. So we need uh, the number of moles of um, calcium hydroxide. We need to solve for um, the number of moles of calcium hydroxide from the given volume in molarity of hydrochloric acid. So let's do that. Okay, we start from um, the volume of hydrochloric acid, which is 0 0.0235 um, liter. And then we multiply this by the molarity of hydrochloric acid, which is 0 0.0156 mole per liter of um, HCl. It should be H HCl, and then we multiply this by the mole ratio of HCl and calcium hydroxide, which is just one mole calcium hydroxide is to two moles of hydrochloric acid. All right, so we cancel out. Um, the the units, so the liter here HCl cancels out, and then the number of moles of HCl. Now we can solve for the number of moles of calcium hydroxide. So that is 0 0.0235 times 0 0.0156 divided by two, and that will give us one point. 833 times 10 to the negative 4 moles calcium.
calcium hydroxide. Okay, we are asked for the molarity um, that is mole per liter. Then we just divide this one, the number of moles that we got, by the volume of the sample, a sample of saturated calcium hydroxide. So we divide this by 10 milliliters. And we need to convert that to liter first. Right. So converting that to liter with 10 ml, this would be a zero point equivalent to 0 0.01 liter. All right, then we divide the number of moles of calcium hydroxide that we got here. So this is molarity of cal calcium hydroxide is just equal to 1.833 times 10 to the negative 4 mole calcium hydroxide divided by 0 0.01. 0 0.01 liter of saturated calcium hydroxide and then this would give us a molarity that is equal to 0 0.01833 molar okay, calcium hydroxide So this is our answer for the first uh, question. All right, um, now we solve for the second question. We answer the second question. What mass of calcium hydroxide is dissolved in 250 ml of saturated calcium hydroxide? So we need to solve for the mass in grams of calcium hydroxide. All right. So we can use the molarity that we got from uh, question A. All right. From this one, we can get um, we can solve for the number of moles of calcium hydroxide first. Okay. And then um, divide it by the volume, the given volume, which is 250 ml. And then we need to convert this to liter. And this is just 0 0.25 liter. All right. So we start with 0 0.01833 um, molar mole per liter of calcium hydroxide times oh no we multiply so we can cancel out the units so we multiply this by 0 0.25 uh, liter we don't divide okay from here Okay, the liter cancels out and we're left with the mole, number of moles of calcium hydroxide. This would give us an answer that is equal to 4.5825 times 10 to the negative 3 moles um, of calcium hydroxide. And Right, four point five eight. Alright, now that we have the number of moles of calcium hydroxide, we can multiply this by the molar mass of calcium hydroxide. Right there. We can get the mass of calcium hydroxide. So 
So that is 4.5825 times 10 to the negative 3 moles calcium hydroxide. We multiply by the molar mass, which is uh, 74.1 grams per mole um, calcium hydroxide. Okay, the number of moles here cancels out, then we are left with the gram unit. Alright, 4.85 times 74.1 is that. Okay, this would give us an answer that is equivalent to 0 0.3396 gram calcium hydroxide. Right, so this is the mass of calcium hydroxide that is dissolved in 250 milliliters of saturated calcium um, hydroxide.